Hello, and welcome to part two of the state of the confusion. Man, that was a better title than I had for the last one. So my last video, I got cut off, didn't have enough time, didn't have enough memory on this thing here. So what is happening? I am finishing my fact checking. A little bit of research that I did on two different topics that Biden had talked about. One of them being prescription drug medications. <sighs> so, he had stated, I want to get my numbers right because I don't want to be fact checked by fact checkers who are just ignoring the fact checking of facts. So, one thing Biden said is that insulin shouldn't cost $300 a vial. And I was like, that, that sounds pretty. I, I have an aunt who's a type 1 diabetic. And I can't imagine her paying $300 a vial for her entire life. Knowing like her income, her husband's income, I'm like... This, this isn't really adding up. And I've seen, I shop at Walmart. I've seen the people who are uh, statistically most likely to be diabetic. And I'm like, how? How are you alive? I know you can't afford that. So, President Biden says that's $300 for a vial of insulin. And he wants to lower the cost of insulin to $35 a month. Does one vial equal a, a month's supply? I don't know. Uh, it depends on the person, the usage, how many units are they using per injection, how, how... <sighs> so, I shopped around. Funny, we have this thing called the internet. And what I found is that Insulin without insurance can potentially cost $1,300 per month. That'd be what, close to four vials, four and a half vials of insulin at $300 a month. However, <clears throat> the average cost per vial of insulin is about $90. That is without insurance. But if you go to Walmart, you can buy insulin at $72.08 per vial. Far less than the $300 that our, our president stated. So I don't know where exactly uh, Google got this $1,300 per month. If that's like severe cases where you're injecting yourself like several times a day with insulin because... I don't know, um, but it would appear that uh, Biden was wrong when it comes to uh, insulin. So there was that. And the other thing that I decided to fact check was his, uh, <laughs> him saying that he was going to lower the price of gas. Uh, he, he's done this before. Uh, a couple months back, he dipped into our oil reserves to try to lower the cost of oil. Uh, I forget what exactly was going on at the time, but he did do that before. And I don't remember it really having that much of an effect. This time around, uh, while gas is, in my area, hitting close to $4 a gallon, uh, he stated last night he is releasing 60 million barrels of oil from the reserves. So then I was like, that doesn't seem like much. It sounds like a lot. For somebody who doesn't look into it, it sounds like, you know, wow, we could last on that forever. Uh, between the year 2000 and 2010, the average daily consumption of oil in the United States was 20.5 million barrels a day. So, um, I'm going to say that's less than three days worth of oil. 
So, uh, yeah, he, he says that he's going to release that into the market and help lower the price of gas for consumers. I, I don't see that really having an effect. I don't. Um, so, it sounds good on paper, on a teleprompter. Uh, most people aren't going to look into it. They're going to think, okay, the price of gas is going to go down. Um, on the upside, I mean, this is oil that's going into the stuff we're already getting. So there could be a slight dip for a short period of time. But if this was all that we were relying on, it's less than three days. So that's it. That's uh, some of my fact checking. You know my opinions and uh, comments on a lot of the other stupid crap that he had stated during the state of confusion. Um, yeah, rebuild America. Keep on typing.